that obviously we were speaking about not forgetting why we came here and not to get carried away with other things. And he says this idea of remembering what our person's real will is supposed to be to serve Hashem is the concept of the breaking of the luchot. He says that the first luchot represented how the Jewish people were not supposed to suffer through receiving the Torah and they didn't have to uh, have a forgetfulness in the Torah. When the first luchot, it was a very, very high elevated level. People would understand Torah right away. It would be easy. It would be it would be so connected to holiness, and uh, and their main will was Hashem. But then when they did the uh, Egel Zahav, they got carried away with a different will. Do we know the Gemara Masechet Sanhedrin says they only wanted the Egel Zahav in order to permit forbidden relationships, in order to make their new rules. You know, the different different leader would mean different rules. So therefore, the, they're 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 a separate will, a different will got, got mixed in, and they got they lost their focus, and ended up being that the luchot had to had to get broken, and when the luchot got broken, the second luchot, he explains, from then started learning Torah through poverty, through tsar, through through forgetfulness, and he says that the, as the as the Tanya de Beliau Zuta. The Midrash says, Eliyahu Navi taught us that when the, the second, when the first Luchot were broken, from then it was an Ixar on Am Yisrael. From then it was decreed on Am Yisrael. They have to learn th- Torah through suffering, through subjugation of the nations, through confusion, through lack of Parnassah. And that all came from being distracted. So a person has to know that when a person gets distracted and loses his focus on the Torah and Hashem, so Haz Shalom, his situation with learning Torah will suffer Haz Shalom, and it will be more, uh, much more difficult. So therefore, a person has to know that that happened when it's the second Luchot. But if a person overcomes this test, and he still learns Torah, and he still pushes himself, even though he has a lot of stress going on, a lot of you know money issues going on, a lot of Shalom Bayit issues going on, and whatnot, and he pushes himself to learn Torah anyways, so then he'll be able to go back to the level of the, of the beginning, the level of the first Luchot. And that's why the sages say, Masechanavot, whoever is called Mekayim Torah Me'oni, so Fole Kayim Be'oshen, whoever studies Torah through poverty, eventually he'll come to study Torah through wealth. Hashem will bless him. In the beginning, you have to overcome this stage, this hump, and then once you get over it, you go back to the level of uh, Luchot Rishonim, the first Luchot. And we know that the, there was a miracle by the first Luchot. The first Luchot, the, 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 the Torah tells us, the Midrash tells us that the Samech and the Mem, if you think about it, if it was fully engraved, the Samech and the Mem, they have nothing holding it to the piece of the stone. So therefore, they were, they were, they were they're completely carved out, so the middle should fall out. And the Gemara says there was a miracle, they were floating. The, the, the Samech, that was f- fully carved through, and the Mem Sofit, that was fully co- carved through, it was, uh, it was floating in the Luchot. And that means, that represents how a person, when he used to study Torah, when the first Luchot were given, he would be, it would be with Siyad Dishma. It would be miraculous. He would be able to study and be able to understand and be able to right away, uh, come close to Hashem. But uh, after the second Luchot, they didn't have that miracle anymore. Their, their, their level dropped and therefore they had to do it through suffering. However, the person can overcome it and get back to the level of the first Luchot. But he explains that a person had, to do this, to be able to constantly remember your creator and to do the will of your creator, you need to get rid of your ego. You need to get rid of your haughtiness. And that's why the first commandment is Anochi Hashem Elokecha Asher Tzidichem Eretz Yisrael. I am Hashem, your God, who took you out of Egypt. That's the first thing you have to remember. Because every test, every every uh, situation comes to you, it's it's always a test about gava, about haughtiness, about ego. Should I do what I want? Should I do what Hashem wants? Should I do what I want? Should I do what Hashem wants? And a person has to be able to get rid of this, get rid of his ego, and to remember who am I versus Akadosh Baruch Hu. Akadosh Baruch Hu is the creator of the universe. He gave me everything I have. Who am I to say against them? Who am I to let other people say against them? Who am I to choose what somebody else says or what I say over what Hashem says to do? And a person has to be honest with himself and be able to overcome that. And then he has to remind himself always, Hashem is the one who took him out of Egypt. Hashem is the one who created everything. Hashem is the one who gave you everything till now. So we, the basic that we owe to him is to go and to have humility when it comes to his word. A person who is religious, a person who consi- considers himself religious, he has to ask himself, do I really do everything he says if I don't believe in what he says? So why am I doing the little that he does, that I do? And if I, if I, and if I uh, do believe in what he says, so I should do everything he says. So it's a, it's a matter of overcoming yourself. It's not easy. But at least in thought, we could start with this mentality and then hopefully it will come into action. But the main thing he explains is the person has to overcome himself in order to be able to make that leap. And once he does, 
So then it brings the biggest bracha. The biggest bracha is when you sacrifice for Hashem, you go above your nature, and Hashem will go above nature for you. And we'll be able to go learn Torah through easy and par- easy parnasa, through no stress, through he'll get it the first time, he won't be confused, you won't have to explain it. He showed us, uh, you know, again, please, no, he will be able to get the level of uh, the first duhot, the level of where everything was through total, total connection to